Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read to you Gary's Gigantic Dream. If you have your copy, go get it. You can read along with me. It was written by Dr. Nicole Julia, and the illustrations are by Jeff Crowther. Gary's Gigantic Dream. Hey, friend. Hello there. How do you do? My name is Gary. How about you? They call me a dreamer, a hoper. It's true. With a dream so gigantic, just see what I'll do. What is this gigantic dream, you say? I'll tell you. It started one sunshiny day. With mother and father and sister all there, I went to get fit for my first wheelchair. There they go. This chair will allow me to play and succeed in all that I want and all that I need. But choosing a chair was no easy deed. There's all different types and sizes. The first was too small, because I'm much too tall. The second was heavy, like a 64 Chevy. It was heavy like a car. He couldn't, he couldn't move it. When I sat on the third, the cushion was squishy. I'll tell you, it did not feel good on my tushy. I like these rhymes I'm hearing in the book. The lady that fixed me up with my chair was wise and kind with short brown hair. She said, be patient, just wait, you'll see. Let me measure your hips, your back, your knee. From hip to hip, knee to floor, she measured and measured and measured some more. Seat depth and angle, and words I can't say. She measured and measured and measured away. She filled out some papers, then talked on the phone. It'll be a while before your chair is your own. The chair is your own. I waited and waited for my chair to appear. Ding dong, rang the doorbell. I let out a cheer. Goodness gracious, golly gee, this was the best thing to happen to me. Go happy. With his chair, I can go and do as I please. Play tag, shoot baskets, and make mac and cheese. Yum. Wow, that chair really helps him get around and do whatever he wants. I can spin, I can dance. Should I visit France? Be kind to others, that's what it says on the Eiffel Tower. We may be different, we may be alike. You walk with your feet, my chair is like a bike. I push these wheels with each hand so I can explore all over this land. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is the day I decided to dream. A dream so gigantic, silly it seems. You asked, here it is, the dream that I dreamed. Gary Gable's Able Fables, story of ability told here, June 25th, sold out. Whoever you are, wherever you go, it is this I truly need you to know. You're able to learn, to play, and to grow. It's true.
is going to talk to and put on a show for all of these people. Look. So from now t until forever, I'll embark on this endeavor. I will tell stories of girls and of boys, their challenges, journeys, strengths, and their joys. In fact, I'll tell fables and I won't stop until I prove we're all able. Look carefully, all of the different characters in the story have different needs, different abilities. So they might need something to help them walk or talk or maybe, you know, they look a little bit different. And that's all okay because we all look different and we all need something to help us in some area of our lives. And we're all able to learn and participate with everyone, no matter what. So meet Eliza and Vine. They inspired part of this book. Oops. There's some more Wall of Famers, kids that helped inspire this story, Gary's Gigantic Dream. I'm glad you met my friends. Aren't they great? I sure think so. Now I want to know all about you. So if you would like, you can go on this website and order the book and fill in your own page and let Gary know all about you. And you can send it to the book company so that he can see. Give it a round of applause for Gary's gigantic dream. Yay! See you later.